Hello guys, it's Shubham Banerjee here from Foodgenics family and uh, welcome to our second video in the series formula for FMCG. I hope you liked our previous video on uh, how to crack PPO and internship at Mondelez International. If you haven't yet checked the video, please read the description or see the link above to check the video out. Today we have with us a very special guest, Mr. Devesh Kumar and uh, my friend uh, and also one of my associates and we have been associated uh, since a since quite a few years and he has been passed as uh, as an inspirational uh, person for our food genics academy as well uh, he has done his btech from tezpur university assam and he has cracked gate 2019 in the field of engineering sciences from the stream food engineering technology with an all india rank of 21 He's currently uh, posted as uh, a scientist B in the very prestigious Bureau of Indian Standards uh, Organization, Government of India. And uh, today we are going to have a little bit of casual chat with him uh, about his journey in his life, in his academics, and how he wants to inspire the future generations. Hi, Devesh. How are you doing? Hi, Subham. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Yeah, uh, it's also a very great honor and a pleasure that you could give us some time from your busy schedule. I know you are a working professional. Uh, so anyway, Devesh, uh, you know, before we move into the formalities of today's discussion, I just wanted to ask you like uh, basic introduction, basic background about yourself. Maybe if, if you can give us. Yeah. So hi all, I am Devis. I am currently working as a scientist at Bureau of Indian Standards, Saibabad. And uh, I secured all India rank 21 as uh, Subham already mentioned. And I was studying, uh, I been, uh, did my B.Tech from Tejpur Central University. And I am currently also pursuing my master's from IIT Kharagpur. So uh, guys, you can see that he is a multi-talented person. He is uh, working as a scientist and also pursuing his uh, uh, M.Tech degree from the very hallowed institution IIT Kharagpur. So uh, uh, just uh, you know uh, when we enter the interview uh, just the first question for everybody in the mind for all the viewers today is obviously about your academic journey uh, being one of the toppers of B.Tech uh, securing rank 21 in gate and then getting into B.I.S. How, how engaging it was and uh, uh, maybe you can walk us through that journey a little bit. Actually, initially when I started my uh, preparation for GATE, I was not uh, aware that uh, it, it will be so um, uh, hard to get. Because at, at least when I started in the second half of the second year, when I was in the second half of the second year, I started my preparation. Just basic preparation, I was not even aware of the whole syllabus. Just my friends, a few of my friends and even my uh, professors helped me down to filter that what are the concepts that I need to grab in and I need to study it. So I just started and just the, the maintain the consistency and then uh, I could uh, secure that rank. So it took almost two years for me to uh, prepare consistently because continuously doing classes was very hectic and then doing Correct. preparation at the same time. So then uh, when I was, uh, when I got my rank, uh, then I got admitted into IIT Kharagpur. And after one year, the BIS recruitment was out and I just got my uh, recruitment done through the interview process of the BIS and then I'm here. So guys, uh, one a little learning from him maybe is that how to manage uh, your semesters and college and B.Tech studies and all that stuff along with your, uh, you know, professional pursuit. So that's one thing which is, you know, very appreciable uh, from Devesh to learn from. So uh, obviously, since our discussion today is about Bureau of Indian Standards and your journey from gate to that, uh, obviously, the next question uh, for you will, will be what is the basic recruitment process? Of the process of recruitment in BIS is very easy, for especially for the food engineering background people. Uh, suppose uh, if someone has already cracked gate and then 80% of the weightage from the gate will be taken and then ne next 20 will be taken from the interview only. 
so aggregate marks will be uh, made and uh, according to the seats available at the act of the bias the seats will be given to the uh, individuals acha okay and uh, like uh, uh, what is the you know frequency of uh, recruitment of food tech students as in uh, every year we are not seeing vacancy in this particular organization so is there any particular frequency uh, in to which be very honest to be very honest actually the act of the bias uh, already says that how much recruitment has to be done in totality Achha. so suppose people who are retiring from this stream the vacancy will be created and after some aggregation of this vacancy the recruitment will be made up by the bias acha acha so in every uh, now i think in every 3 years or 2 to 3 years you will be seeing uh, vacancies from bias especially for the food engineering grads food engineering grads acha and uh, maybe uh, just uh, let us know as in like uh, uh, right now you are working there so how is the work environment see we are all accustomed with the private organizations and we try we talk with them but very few are in the government organizations like you are so how is the work environment in it and how is it different from uh, you know the private organizations uh, in the country actually actually suppose if someone gets into the bias the liability of the post is very high your every signature wherever you do uh, has a legal meaning uh-huh. so you will have to think before whatever you are doing you have to think before that the liability in the private organization is very less as compared to the government organization the working environment is very similar because and now the government has already started privatization of all central and uh, state governments uh, assets so the work environment is very similar however the liability is very 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 high from the uh, um, uh, private sector so you will have to deal with every legal and technical aspect before coming to conclusion for any of the acts you are doing so that is the major mm. difference in the hm yes sir since a lot you know a lot of a lot of bureaucracy and lot lot of things depend on your shoulders maybe th- that's why your uh, this thing is uh, very strong i guess so devesh uh, we understood about obviously the organization uh, work environment and everything so uh, what is uh, the pay scale and what are the different incentives that you are getting uh, from this uh, job so the pay scale when when we joined earlier in last september the pay scale the basic pay scale was 56100 that is the highest pay scale of any graduate at any indian uh, post or any government even if someone qualifies upsc and gets uh, to a collector he will also get the same pay scale acha however the liability obviously is very very higher than what we are mm. doing but the aggregate aggregate pay scale is uh, aggregate pay scale is 56100 and the total payment which i first when we were there in the training we got that was at around 87000 okay so that's really that a very new opportunity for the food tech even when i was doing my bachelor's i was not aware that this opportunity would be there i was somehow i would able, i was able to crack the cell and then yeah. hmm so obviously if it's as as uh, you know like uh, as high as you are saying the ias and the ips uh, grade scale uh, Uh, it's same the salary. same policy applies here even the conduct rules and all other activities hmm. are same for all uh, even bis drdo isro and central civil services they are all same acha so obviously this will be a very important uh, interesting point for all the aspirants out there about the pay scale so uh, coming to Just the next one thing i'd like to add that pay yeah, sure. is a secondary thing however the learning which bis provides because there are few instruments here in bias that you will ne- not find it anywhere in india there are multiple such instruments and such products that are being tested here which are under mandatory certification scheme so there are some massive instruments worth rupees crores and, and then testing on that uh, definitely gives you a good vibes mm. so, absolutely so uh, not only the salary but also the learning and you know hands on uh, work that you are getting exposed to so that's another great thing uh so uh, obviously as we were talking about you using these uh, worth crores of you know equipments and all these uh, uh, fine uh, devices uh, so what is basically the role of a scientist in bis like what is uh, what does it entail so 
the major role uh, of uh, scientist B is any any scientist other than scientist F and G is to supervise the testing. Um, there are three sections in the Bureau of Indian Standard. One is certification, another one is laboratory, and third is standardization. So mm -hmm. currently, I am posted in laboratory. Okay. And in laboratory, the major work is associated with the supervision of the testing. There are so many. Uh, there there will be lot many testing persons. And then you will have to supervise whether they are testing it properly or not, whether there is some biasness in their testing or not. And you'll have to eradicate each one of the, their problems and you'll have to come with some solutions. In fact, you will have to find some testing methods that have not been developed across the globe. You'll have to test and then develop that method. That also is a big, very big opportunity and learning. In fact, if you do very good, you will. Uh, I'd like uh, your viewers to know that at World Trade Organization and in fact at World Health Organization. This is BIS which represents India at WTO and WHO. So this okay. is also a very big opportunity for the scientists here that even in the very young age they can represent India at this big stage. Correct. So not only a, a national exposure but also very huge global exposure as uh, yeah. So that is one very big thing uh, about this particular position. So, coming to the, uh, you know, part, coming to the very, you know, million dollar question that whatever you are getting right now, you had to crack a very grilling interview for that maybe. And obviously a screening procedure was there. So, what type of skills do you think our future aspirants should have to crack this BIS interview? For cracking interview, you will have to read and read and read. Because there will be all technical sorts of questions which will be beyond even our syllabus. And uh, there is no syllabus for any inter this uh, particular interview. They may go beyond your stream and ask anything that probably we would not have listened. So we will have to prepare. Anyone who wishes to prepare will have to learn a lot, uh, even going beyond their streams also. I so see. learning all technical and their principles, basic principles of all the instruments. Because instrumentation is very important in BIS. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll have to learn uh, about instruments a lot and then the application and how to implement that in the, uh, those equipments in the national interest. Mm -hmm. So this is the basic uh, of the interview. Uh, in, in fact, uh, when uh, I was uh, asked few questions even on the product development, instrumentation and even they were just asking me about spectrophotometer and their wavelengths and every single thing that probably people uh, forget very fastly. So, uh, in fact, these questions are very relevant in terms of BIS because every small question has to be learned and then produced in front of the interviewers. Achha. So, uh, basically, uh, like uh, knowing about the analytical instruments which are used in food technology domain that you yeah. have to know very well. In fact, in fact, other instruments also. In fact, any chemical, uh, mechanical instrument, uh, electrical instrument, so okay. instrumentation is very important. Even, uh, they'll have to learn a, a bit about mechanical and electrical instruments also. Okay. Mechanical, electrical instruments as in, can you maybe elucidate? Uh, like, uh, uh, some tensiometer is there or tension, uh, tension machine is there, uh, resistance machine is there. They will ask basic principles that how can you do that? How can you test this? Okay. In fact, they can ask about thermometer, the basic thermometer which we, we use. Correct, These correct. are the basic questions. They will stick to the very basics of the uh, learning. Okay. Acha. So interesting. Not only food uh, knowledge, you also need mechanical, electrical, a little bit of that basics as well. And anything... Yeah, basics is required. Otherwise, they'll try to align themselves for the questions for the food technology. Okay. Are not from this particular background. They may go beyond your studies and then ask anything and you'll have to produce in front of them. Achha. And uh, in relation to this, uh, do anything else uh, like in theoretical aspect, do the candidates need to prepare any other uh, maybe subjects or anything that they need to know uh, other than this instrumental part? Other than the instrumental part, the product development also in the food technology plays a very vital role. Achha. So the development part has to be there that how to develop this particular product or how to develop uh, uh, what kind of product we need to develop. In fact, if someone files a patent or have a research paper associated with them, so this will also be a big boot for them uh, to get in. 
I think uh, it's uh, it will be interesting to know all the candidates, uh, all the people watching today's videos that Devesh also has, uh, I think, has a patent uh, on ex uh, extruded uh, products as well. So he's worked on that as well. So he has that experience uh, uh, of filing a patent and being a patent holder as well. So has that helped you? Maybe did they ask you any questions regarding that? Maybe in your interview? Yes, you just asked me because uh, my pre my uh, preliminary patent was on uh, soya dual soya flour dough. No? Yeah. So they asked me about that. Very basic questions were asked, and I was able to answer. Okay. So. Uh, May, so basically summarizing it revision of your basic food tech knowledge and yeah. uh, basic engineering and instrumentation knowledge all these things yeah engineering and instrumentation knowledge is important not only to getting in the bis in fact for the promotion year also you will have to know the engineering and instrumentation part okay 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 so that is another thing that people need to keep in mind uh, so obviously uh, you know uh, uh, in your day-to-day -day life in BIS right now, uh, what are the kind of you know work or functionality that you are currently working on or doing? Uh, maybe can you tell us that? Presently, we are only uh, supervising the testing methods and uh, procurement is very uh, hectic process here in BIS that you'll have to procure each and every small equipments then big equipments and that the process of procuring in the government setup is very hectic and very uh, every legal aspect come into play and then you'll have to deal with every single thing that becomes only hectic otherwise everything is very smooth and fine and very learning experiences Achha. and uh, j just a general you know inquiry maybe people want to ask uh, is that what kind of mindset do you require for you know working in this particular uh, domain of uh, government uh, scientist role what kind of mindset do you need to develop Especially if we talk about mindset, we just need to be uh, inculcating habit of learning. That itself is enough. If uh, if one has developed that habit of learning, then they will not feel any pain and uh, hecticness over here, and everything will go smooth. So they'll have to keep learning and learning because because here uh, suppose if you are recruited here as a food technologist, this is not a surety that you will be given food to food, food related uh, equipment. You may be given to a uh, going for a uh, electronic equipment or electrical equipment and even for the mechanical equipment so the role is very multi-dimensional and the learning has to be there because when we came here a few of our friends were sent to some mechanical licenses in front of me and it was very difficult for them to start the conversation but now they are all frank enough to come up with the solutions okay so yeah obviously people from food background may may so they have to you know uh, keep their mind open towards other kinds of knowledge as well to yeah. do well in this job not only product development and not only formulation uh, but other other yeah, areas product development and instrumentation are necessary for the interview purpose but when you join here yeah the role is so multi-dimensional that even if i am a food technologist and but i am also looking for twice chemical mm -hmm. requirement of twice so that's uh, okay so that's a challenge at the same time a uh, scope for learning so great uh, so obviously the next question would be like uh, 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 you already talked about gate score and uh, uh, weightage of your uh, interview marks I guess any other parameters maybe for the you know selection in this particular uh, Post? That itself is enough. That itself is enough. So if eighty percent of the gate marks and then twenty percent of the interview. interview. So gate is very important in this point, in this perspective. Because if you get a very good marks in gate, you cannot be uh, thrown out of the interview. You you anyway will have to be selected. So uh, according to you, Devesh, like in current scenario when the competition has also increased a lot in uh, gate. Uh, what should be you know ideal marks or uh, to you know uh, give the candidates a safe uh, way to get into BIS? What would be the ideal anything marks? Anything about anything about fifty five, I think will be safer. Uh, will lie on the safer side to get into BIS. But Correct. one thing just I'd like to add for the experience that they will have to consistently try from the second year. I'll just suggest that they should try from the second year because. Any job, even in the future, for the food technologist, if opens, that will be open through gate only. In fact, mm. DRDO is planning to uh, get some recruitment out for the food technologist 
so that will be also done through gate only so if someone someone wishes to get a job in a drdo or bis or even in isro in coming future the passage will be through gate only so they will have okay. to consistent enough okay so drdo as well as isro may be planning some other positions for the so viewers drdo is definitely planning but hmm. uh, in uh, isro may plan in near future okay and that would also require a very high score in gate as well oh, obviously absolutely so um, it will be very low 3 to 4 seats will be there in fact when we were here only 5 uh, seats for total 14 seats were there but for general only 5 seats correct correct and for in case of you you would say that from second year they should start uh, maybe keeping in mind that i have to prepare for gate in a good manner yeah. correct uh, so uh, obviously before we end it uh, a few last questions uh, what what kind of advice do you want to give to all the young aspirants and who are, who want to dream who are dreaming right now to join such an elite organization i just tell them to start preparing from the second year as i already said and they will have to consistently do their preparation the, uh, i have often met people who ask that what to how to prepare and which books to follow so let me tell your viewers that it is very important to start by their own at least if you do not uh, suppose if somebody is facing a bit trouble in starting just go and sit at least for few days 3 to 5 days and you will start doing something and then starting will give you a way out that how to prepare and which books to follow and in fact in some point of time suppose the examination was very close in my case and in fact my, one of my senior help me out in that that frustration comes that whether i'll be able to crack this or not so in fact these type of things will come and only the preparation if you have done very well will take you out of these all difficulties so they'll have to consistently study and they will have to filter their own uh, uh, whatever the material is there because in fact food genics is doing a very good job in telling people and even uh, making them prepare but yeah, they will also have to put their efforts in and then filter the material that is being asked in the gate so one should always realize that uh, gate is a general aptitude test so uh, uh, one more thing that i like to add is suppose if somebody is preparing for gate then he must realize that something may be very important for their exam point of view at their graduation but may not be so relevant for the gate exam Correct. suppose some question is there which take 10 to 12 minutes for solving so you must realize that this question is not going to come in the gate because the, you will only only be given those questions which are which can be done in 2 to 3 minutes so we will have to prepare like that correct so uh, obviously so uh, gate and uh, we all we were all late starters and uh, we were not that much you know involved in it and we started like only few months before the gate and that's why we tell uh, he is telling uh, devish is telling you go you people also got significant great we, results in gate we got but still the person who is right now sitting in bis is mr devish so anyway uh, so uh, uh, obviously to the candidates out there who are watching uh, preparing for gate is a very important component of this particular uh, uh, process so uh, guys uh, that's it from our side uh, all the questions and uh, the replies that you have got from mr devesh and uh, obviously if uh, you want any kind of specialized advice or want to get in touch with him and ask about bis and all uh, his uh, view on life maybe in general uh, we will share his contact in the description below and uh, we'll meet again very soon bye bye guys signing off shubham banerji and mr devesh